So, you've been diagnosed with hypothyroidism, you take the medication, and you go back to see your doc, and your doc does lab work and says, oh, things are looking good, you're doing all right, but you don't feel all right. Your hair is still falling out, your eyebrows are still thinning, you still have a lot of fatigue, you still have to take naps in the middle of the day, you have brain fog, you're gaining weight, but your labs are okay, and your doc says, you're okay keep taking the medication. Or you take the medication, you feel good for a month or two, and then you start feeling lousy again. Or you take the medication and you start feeling worse. All those things can be explained if you understand how the thyroid works and what I like to call the thyroid system. Now I'm here to explain to you why this works or why medication probably doesn't work for you because medication only solves a little piece of the problem. I made this chart over here and I want to show you is that this chart, okay, is the chart of the thyroid system and it's a simplified chart, granted, but I'm hoping that it'll help explain why you might not be feeling so well. So let's talk about where your thyroid system begins and it begins in a place called the hypothalamus. Now the hypothalamus is found in the brain right around here, okay? Now the hypothalamus sends out a hormone, which is abbreviated TRH here, means thyroid releasing hormone, and that influences what we call the anterior pituitary. Now, the anterior pituitary is found right there, okay? Now, the anterior pituitary is stimulated by the hypothalamus, which then sends another hormone called TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone, to the thyroid gland. Makes sense, right? The thyroid gland, which is found in your neck, okay? Now, the thyroid gland then produces two types of hormone, mainly something called T4, T4, or a little bit of T3. Now, the thing is that these are what we call bounded. In other words, they're attached to a protein so that they don't act on anything. So they're sort of... Um, uh, uh, you know, in waiting to be uh, acted upon. Now, the interesting thing here, what's very important to understand is that T4 is the form that is inactive. In other words, it, um, it, it doesn't do anything. It wouldn't do anything to your cells. It wouldn't do anything. T3, however, is the active form of T4. So here's the important thing. These two go into a little, uh, they get transported, and I like to call it a taxi cab, okay? and they get transported to the liver and other parts of the body, but mainly to the liver. Now the liver uh, takes this T4, okay, and transforms it, changes it into T3, which is the active form. So it takes the inactive form, T4, and changes it into the active form, T3, all the while, while it's being transported by this taxi cab. Now you have things that are sloughed off by it, but at any rate, this occurs mainly in the liver. Sometimes it occurs in your stomach or your gut, basically, but mainly in the liver, okay? And then the T3, T3 excuse me, is transported to cells in your body, okay? And the cells in your body will take that T3 and that T3 will make the cells do what they're supposed to do or at the level they're supposed to do it. In other words, mobilizing fat, making sure your blood sugar is okay, making sure your hair grows, making sure your eyebrows are okay, your skin is okay, all that types of stuff, your cells will take that T3 and utilize it to make sure it operates correctly. So you see that it's more than just this right here. So let's look at the fact that we know now that the thyroid is actually a system, so there's a lot of pieces to it. So the medication that you take, whether it be Armorol, Synthroid, whatever, okay, is either T3 or T4. So you're taking either T3 or T4. Sometimes you're taking both, sometimes you're just taking one. And what happens is that is only helping one part of this whole picture, and that's this, the thyroid. By taking T4 or T3 or combined two, what you're doing is you're supplanting or making hormone 
or helping the thyroid make its hormone. It's not making it, but you're just sort of replacing whatever it makes with itself. Now that problem, that issue is called hype, uh, primary hypothyroidism. Primary hypothyroidism. That means it's the problem with your thyroid is coming from the thyroid gland itself. Well, that is a small percentage of the problems that can happen to the thyroid system. That's why the majority of people that take thyroid medication doesn't really help, doesn't solve the problem. Here's why. is because each one of these areas, right, can be a problem. You can have a problem right up here in your brain that will not make your thyroid system work properly. There are things that can cause problems there. Anything from uh, immune problems to stress, okay? Lack of sleep, that could be a problem right up here. It could be a problem in the anterior pituitary, okay, which is called secondary hypothyroidism. It could be a problem with your taxi cab, the transporter, your taxi cab would have a flat tire. So it can't take the production of these to the liver. You can have a problem with the liver. So you're not converting or changing T4 into T3 so that it can work in the cells. Now, you can have a problem in your gut that would cause problems with your thyroid. So do you see that there are multiple areas where there's issues that can occur that just taking thyroid medication, the T4, T3, is not going to help. So what you have to do is your doc, you have to go to your doc and say, listen doc, I feel lousy. Do you understand this? Can you look at this for me and tell me what part of my system is not working and why the medication is not helping me? Can you do that? It's very important. Because if your doc doesn't know, you need to find a doc that does know. Because it's not worth the time and effort, and they're wasting your time and effort in order to get you better. You shouldn't be suffering for more than, you know, 7, 10, 50. I have, I have patients that suffer for 15 years with this stuff. It's just simply looking at where is the problem and how can we solve it. Thank you for listening.